The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is an insanely powerful smartphone that is capable of a crazy amount of stuff, but there's surprisingly a ton more they can do with your phone with some extra accessories. After watching this video, you go DBZ on it and realize this isn't even my final form. <sighs> Here are my favorite accessories for the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and honestly, most other phones. You're gonna find at least one cool thing here, I promise. And of course, there are links down below in the description. One of the things that easily sets the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra apart from other phones is the fact that your phone can be used like a normal desktop computer with DeX. This is the Samsung M8 Monitor, a 32-inch 4K HDR 60Hz smart computer monitor that also has streaming services built in like Netflix, Disney+, Apple TV+, YouTube TV, and more, so you can also use it as a TV. It also has speakers built in, Amazon Alexa and Bixby, a webcam, and even works as a smart home hub for SmartThings devices. It also has a clean and modern design. Here's the cool thing, if you have a Samsung Galaxy device, you can plug your phone into it and activate Dex Mode, which will give you a desktop-like environment with powerful multitasking abilities because you can use apps and windows, you know, just like on your normal computer. All you need is a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse like these and you're good to go. Or you can use your Samsung Galaxy device as your trackpad. What a crazy setup. If you want to unlock the power of Samsung DeX on your Samsung Galaxy device but want a portable setup, this 15.6 inch 60 hertz 4K OLED Anakin monitor is the best travel monitor that I've seen in its price range. It connects over USB-C or HDMI, covers 100% of the DCI-P3 color space with 10-bit color, so it's great for content creation and editing. It has a 100,000 to one contrast ratio, one millisecond of response time, a fantastic touchscreen, which is especially nice to use while navigating Samsung DeX, 440 nits of brightness, and has a 5,000 milliamp battery built in so you can use it easily on the go for hours. The part that makes this one stand out the most is its build quality. While other monitors are cheap and flimsy where they flex every time you touch it, this thing has a solid glass screen and a body made of metal. Its quality reminds me of the MacBook Pro. The included case is also great because because it helps you prop it up easily. Seriously, the screen is gorgeous and this brand is seriously underrated with color accurate displays. When you add a keyboard and mouse, I have a complete package. Or if you use a touchscreen, a mouse is optional. Now, while you may think having a keyboard and mouse is a great setup for gaming on your Samsung Galaxy S23 device, not every game works perfectly for that control method, even Xbox Game Pass games. So you need a controller. One of the best options for playing high-end games on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is with Xbox Game Pass with its tremendous library of games that are available on many other devices, including your phone. It just makes sense to use the Xbox Game Controller for Game Pass. It allows you to easily connect over Bluetooth with a click of a button and then play a ton of games. I especially love this setup on the Samsung M8 monitor to get a full screen experience with Samsung DeX. This setup is insane. If you want to turn your smartphone into a gaming console-like experience, the Backbone One is a great option. It works with Xbox Game Pass, GeForce Now, Steam Link, supported Android games, and more. You can even connect it to your Xbox or PC if you need something in a pinch. It even fits massive phones like the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. It has an extremely comfortable design, the ability to take screenshots or record, charge while playing, and even plug in headphones through your headphone jack so you can get that low latency audio. The question is, what games would you play on this? When you have a bunch of smaller accessories and items for your smartphone, it can become a bit of a cluttered mess to keep all of them organized or even find out where to put them. That's where a convenient storage solution for your tech items can come in handy. One of the coolest accessories I've ever found is the Orbikey Nest. It works for the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra or really anything else. On the outside, it has a nice, clean, and well-designed, durable shell with a spot to put some documents like a passport, pens, or whatever. There's even a wireless Qi charging pad built into it if you want to charge something. When you open it up, you have tons of pockets for different things like cards and cables on one side and then the actual compartment on the other. It has a nice soft material on the inside so you won't scratch anything you put in it and there are these nice little dividers that can move around to keep things in place. This is super elegant and well designed so you can even leave it on your desk and take it on the go when you want. This is a great durable storage accessory for your tech or anything else. By the way, if you haven't seen it already, my video with 80 tips and tricks in 50 minutes is out for the Samsung Galaxy lineup. It's crazy and the comments are raving about it. Check it out after this video by clicking the link in the description or the card up here. It's kind of crazy how powerful and capable smartphones are now, so it's easy to miss out on some really neat and clever abilities available because they get overshadowed by more flashy features. These basic connectivity accessories can really make you a power user. This is one of the most unexpected accessories for 
for your phone. This tiny little NFC or RFID sticker is something I haven't seen mentioned in many other accessory videos. It's the same technology in your ID cards, credit cards, and so much more. These things are super cheap and easy to put everywhere, but here's where they really become amazing. If you download the NFC Tools app, you can program the NFC stickers to automate different processes or actions when you tap on it. You can share your Wi-Fi information, your social media accounts, turn on all your lights in your home, and more. I use this at CS to share my business card and media kit. You can put one on your nightstand so it automates your phone to go into do not disturb mode and launches your sleep tracking app. It's pretty wild stuff and super inexpensive to do. I set this one up to toggle on and off the flashlight. It's so simple and easy. You know what's also inexpensive? Subscribing to this channel. In fact, if you do that right now, you get to do it for free. All it takes is one click. And while you're at it, hit the bell icon so you can be notified when I post another video. Thank you. There's one accessory that I think everyone should have, and it's a tracker. While there are Apple Air tags, those only work on the iPhone. With the Samsung Smart Tag Plus, you get some really great tracking features as well as augmented reality features, but that also means that it works great on Galaxy S23 devices. This is possible because of the many Samsung devices everywhere, so you don't have to be within range to find a tag as long as another Samsung device is around. It also makes the use of ultra wideband, which allows you to get that pinpoint specific augmented reality features that tell you exactly where the tag is located along with making it ring so you can listen for it. Unlike the Apple AirTag, this also has a button on it so you can click it and it'll ring your phone so you can find it. That's really cool being able to find things in both directions. Also, if you have SmartThings devices in your home, you can use the built-in button to control various smart home devices like your lights. If you wanna watch a full review and comparison between the Samsung SmartTag Plus and the Apple AirTags, check out the review in the card up here or in the description. With how expensive and fragile phones are nowadays, it's important to give it some protection. Even with the reduced curve edge screen on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and the latest Gorilla Glass, it's still possible to get scratches on your phone even if you try to take the best care of it. I actually noticed this little scratch on mine yesterday despite keeping it in a case and trying to not have it rub up against anything. That curve also makes it hard to find a tempered glass screen protector that works well and looks great. I personally use Whitestone Dome Glass on all my devices. The Whitestone Dome Glass glass is able to provide full coverage even on the curves. It also looks insanely clear and feels even smoother than the actual glass with some of the best oleophobic coating out there. It is a bit intimidating involved to install because it uses Laka glue technology, and that's the same glue used for the assembly of the display in your smartphone, but it conveniently fills in scratches. It also works with most cases. Speaking of, the cases that I have here with these awesome designs are from this video sponsor, Casetify. They protect your phone from drops up to 8.2 feet, heavy lip on the top and bottom so your screen isn't resting on any surfaces and enough coverage around the camera to protect it. It also makes it so your phone lays flat instead of rocking around, which is great if you want to write something down with the S Pen while it rests on your desk. My favorite part is that the designs are awesome and there are an insane amount of them to choose from so you're sure to find something to fit your taste. I have this cool one here that makes it look like I can see the inside of my phone. There's this classic transparent case, this seriously awesome dragon one that is my favorite, or this custom one with my name on it. Oh, did I mention that there are some case options that you can customize? Even better, Caseify cases are made out of 65% recycled and plant-based materials, and many are made from upcycled phone cases. If you want to pick up a case for your phone with an awesome design or customize your own, you can get 15% off automatically applied at the checkout by clicking the link in the description. You know, at least check out some of the designs and see if you find something that you like. Let me know what you get. You can't have an accessory video without talking about some smartwatches, and there are two obvious ones to choose from. If you want a feature pack smartwatch with a custom version of Wear OS for Samsung, Samsung devices, a modern clean design, and the best integration with the Samsung Galaxy S23 lineup, the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 is the obvious choice. It has a bunch of athletic health and sleep tracking features. My favorite athletic feature helps you keep track of your reps and sets for a variety of different exercises like squats, curls, running, and more. I love being able to check out my body composition, and it's nice to have the option to check my ECG, stress levels, and blood oxygen levels. You can even check out your notifications right on your wrist and respond to messages, take calls with its built-in mic and speaker, control media on your phone, play music loaded onto your watch, and pay with Samsung Pay. If you're looking for the best smartwatch out there for your Samsung Galaxy device, the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro is the one to go with. It has a more robust, rugged design than the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 with an added lip to it to handle any bumps or scratches and provides a nice place to naturally have your finger run up along for when you're swiping through different screens and apps. While it has the same awesome athletic features and everything else that you can find on the normal Watch 5, the area it shines the most in is battery life. If you have always on display turned off, you can easily get through three days before having to charge it, 
which makes it perfect for a weekend adventure. Are you like this? You get a smartwatch, but when you wear it, your wrist starts itching and you get a rash? I have that happen all the time because so many smartwatches come with silicone bands and I don't seem to react well to them. Here are some watch bands I found that are a good watch band replacement for the Galaxy Watch 5 series. I'm using the Pro right now. These are some nice classy looking metal watch bands that give your watch a more dress up look and make it feel way more premium. I also like the heft to it and it's super easy to adjust it to the size of your wrist as it comes with this little tool included that makes it easy to remove any links so you get the right fit and it comes in black or silver. These other bands are a trail loop copy that is made out of soft cloth with a nice look and design to it. This is perfect if you're working out with your watch since you can easily clean it and it's super light. The quality certainly isn't as high end as the Apple Watch version and the attachments are made out of plastic but they're not expensive so it's not a bad deal in my opinion. But what's great about all of these watch bands is that my wrist isn't itchy anymore and they don't give me a rash so which is always nice. Now this is a category that I especially like because of my audio engineer background. Here you'll find options that are a mix of the best sound, price, and features for most people. The Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 Pro are Samsung's latest and greatest flagship earbuds with a refined design and finish that is more modern and clean. It even has a nice soft touch finish to the case and earbud. What makes these great is that they have sound tuned by AKG, which has a sound more like the highly acclaimed Harman curve for a more neutral and even sound while still being enjoyable. I'd say that these are Harman light and that it adds a touch of extra bass but manages to not be muddy, tubby, or congested. It has a great sound. Along with that, you have some OK ANC and transparency mode, wireless charging, and with the Samsung Galaxy device, lower latency gaming options. If you have a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra or other supported Galaxy device, you can even record 360 binaural audio when recording a video, which is especially cool. Fun fact, Samsung owns Harman Audio, which owns AKG, JBL, and a ton of other well-known audio brands. So if you're looking for that Harman sound, those are some good brands to check out. If you want the best ANC out there by a mile and arguably the best transparency mode out there, the Bose Quiet Comfort Earbuds 2 are the ones to pick up. While I love and prefer the Apple AirPods Pro 2 for the Apple ecosystem and how amazing it is as the best all around whole package out there, the Bose still beats the AirPods Pro 2 for ANC by a shocking amount. The only downside is that it has a slight electronic hiss when nothing is playing, which is that trade off for that better ANC. As for transparency mode between them and the AirPods Pro 2, they're neck and neck. But for my ear canal shape, the Bose sound more natural and transparent. As for sound quality, they're solid, not overly boosted in any area, so they won't be offensive to really anyone. I like their sound way more than I had anticipated. With their wing tips, they have an insanely great fit that will surely hang in there even during the most rigorous workouts. They even have swipe gestures so you can adjust volumes, something I wish was on more earbuds, but heads up, there's no wireless charging. Bummer. If you really care about having the best sound quality out there, are using higher impedance headphones, or listen to lossless audio on something like Tidal or Apple Music, or you just need a dang headphone jack on your phone again, you really should consider getting an external DAC to help you unlock that listening experience on your phone. The THX Onyx is equipped with THX AAA technology that is as simple as plugging into a USB-C port on your phone or any other device, and then plugging into the headphone jack. Depending on your source material, you can listen up to master quality audio. There are three LED lights that let you know what sample rate you're listening to so you can know if you're getting the best audio quality possible or not. Getting better audio quality is seriously as simple as plug and play, but this particular option comes at a price. If you don't care about all that fancy high quality audio stuff, a simple USB-C to headphone jack from Google is fine. If you're looking for some great sounding earbuds that will make most audiophiles happy and cost under $100, the Truth Ear Hexes are easily the ones to get. They have a neutral, clear, and even sound that closely follows a highly respected Harman curve. It also comes with tons of ear tips to get the right fit for your ears, a nice little pouch, and a two pin cable. They also look clean. They're a great set of earbuds that are perfect for gaming if you want a wired option or for listening to music. I'm honestly shocked at how good they sound at their price. It honestly feels like a pricing error, but that's the normal price. I'll even use these for editing videos when I'm traveling, so you have my word. This is audio engineer approved. With a gorgeous display and incredible power, the Samsung Galaxy S23 lineup is a fantastic device for creation. If you're someone who makes content or wants to get started making content, you don't always need a crazy expensive camera. Smartphones are crazy good now, and the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is the most stacked camera that they've put out yet. A way to really unlock what you can do with it is a smartphone gimbal like the DJI Osmo Mobile 6. This is great for getting B-roll of a product that looks super smooth, and even for vlogging with it because it has a selfie pole built in. When you combine the tripod legs with the built-in software that tracks you as you move and stay in frame, you got a really powerful rig. And while there are software options for stabilization and framing on your phone, being able to use the main cameras at the highest quality is always nice, especially if you're using the front-facing camera. I seriously wish I had one of these when I was at CS this year because my video was uh, a little shaky and it's just not good enough. Check this out. During the Samsung Galaxy Unpacked announcement for the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, they showed off how Ridley Scott made a 
film entirely using the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Wait, what's all that stuff? That's not entirely filmed with the phone. Oftentimes they use more things to make these films, but that's honestly quite common, even for fancy cameras like the one I'm using now. So the question is, what are they using? One of the things that he's using is the B-Script cage. It can work with essentially any smartphone because you can move the lens position to the exact spot you need. From here, you can use any of their lenses. Add in all of these mounting points and you can rig it up with a ton of different accessories if you want to. Look at how insane this rig is. If you're filming any video on your smartphone, you'll likely end up in situations where you don't have as much light as you need. I went to CS and made the mistake of not bringing a light and regretted it. This is where the Loom Cube Mini comes in. It's a super small light that can easily fit into your pocket that can mount onto something like a B-Script. It has various brightness levels and color temperatures to choose from, a built-in battery with a couple of hours of life, USB-C for charging, and a convenient silicone cover for diffusion if you want a softer light. You even have a ball head adapter to get the angle and position that you want and need. When you're filming any video, creating content, or vlogging, on your smartphone or camera, you have to focus on having high quality audio. I'm not saying that just because I'm an audio engineer. It's because it's hard to watch content with bad audio. That's why the DJI mic is so awesome. That allows you to record audio directly to your smartphone, even if you're not next to your phone, which frees up your hands to do whatever you need. And you can even record audio locally on the mic pack itself for backup audio. If you want to interview someone else, you can give them the other mic pack and record audio from two sources. I love these and I think they sound amazing. They even come with a nice charging case that's kind of like a big AirPod case, and some of these fluffy things called a deck kit, so you can reduce wind noise. Even better, you can use this on Android, iOS, and on a full-on camera rig. This is easily one of the best things I've ever purchased. If you ever wanted to have a lav microphone for when you're on a video call with your smartphone, or you want a really fantastic sounding microphone for making TikToks, the Sennheiser XS Lav Mobile Kit is a great option. This one that I have here is a USB-C version, so it works great for Android phones. It comes with a nice pop filter, so you can prevent those plosives when talking into it, and cut down on some of that wind noise. And it also comes with a clip. How great is this? Uh, I guess I should make some TikToks or something. Go follow me. This is Tech Today on TikTok. Here's a simple but helpful accessory that absolutely changes the game for Android phones. You see, the MagSafe ecosystem is massive because, well, Apple. You can get different chargers, you can get a wallet for it, lights, mounts, and so much more. So while you see all these accessories coming out for the iPhone, this sticker gives you the ability to take advantage of what Apple is building and make it usable on your Android phone. You can even use the MagSafe charger from Nomad that is super hefty, looks good, and works really well. Along with that, Moment actually has a ton of mounts that works with this that I really love. They also have one that adds a bunch of mounting threads for your phone, a couple of tripod mounts, and so much more. There's even this phone rig mount here that allows you to attach a ton of stuff to it. Even though the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra has fantastic battery life, you still need to charge your phone. Here are some of my favorite charging accessories for the Samsung Galaxy S23 series. If you've purchased a new smartphone lately, you've probably noticed that they don't include chargers anymore. Well, this 65 watt Spigen GAN Pro charger is a great option to replace it. Not only does it charge compatible devices quickly, but it also uses a gallium nitride or GAN charging technology that gives it the ability to be super powerful and a very small form factor. Having two USB ports makes it even better so you can charge multiple devices for a total of 65 watts across both ports. Battery banks are usually kind of boring, but this one, this one is pretty sweet. I love the transparent design of it, which caters to that geeky side of me, but it can do a lot more. It can charge up to 100 watts from its 25,600 milliamp battery, so it'll easily charge everything from your earbuds to your laptop. It has two USB-C ports, a USB-A port, and a DC port. What makes it even cooler is the screen on it to show you its charging stats. If you want to do something even cooler with it, you can with their solar panel charger. It all works together perfectly and allows you to provide up to 12 watts of charge to your battery bank with the IP54 certified solar panels. This is perfect if you're camping or traveling. And yes, this is all within spec for carrying onto an airplane. This is by far the coolest looking battery bank out there. Everyone needs a wireless charger and this one by Samsung packs way more than meets the eye. Not only is it clean with a small footprint that allows fast charging up to 15 watts on your Samsung smartphone, but it's a smart thing station. So your compatible smart home devices, your Samsung devices, and Samsung smart tags all work together. You can hit the button to ring your phone, double tap to control your smartphone devices like turning on and off your lights, and even see if you left your compatible Samsung devices at home. You can even set up routines so that setting your phone down before bed automates a bunch of features like turning off your lights and locking your doors. See? way more than meets the eye. If your house is like mine, and this type of accessory became quite popular over the past few years. It's a UV cleaner that has a wireless charger built in. This Samsung one has a really nice and clean look to it, and it's a nice thing to have around to clean your phone after a day of work while charging your phone.
smartphone at the same time. A car charger is a must have for your smartphone and other devices. Whether you're an Uber driver, watching movies on a road trip, or using your phone for navigation, you need something that will not only keep your battery from draining, but topping it up faster than you drain it. This one from Speaking has two USB-C ports that allows you to charge at either 45 watts or 20 watts for a total of 65 watts. Let me know what your favorite accessories were in the comments. Make sure to check out the links in the description so you can pick them up for yourself. Get that 15% off discount on Caseify cases with my special links. Check out these videos over here and thanks for watching. This is Tech Today. Until next time.